The lacewing from the golden-eyed family, Chrysopodi, is a very useful insect that will save your garden from the plague of aphids and other pests. In spring and summer females lay their eggs on leaves or plant stems set on long stalks. The larvae hatch and the adults die, those that overwinter live a little longer, but usually their lifespan is three months. In the form of larvae live for three weeks, after which they take on the adult form. Several generations of these insects may appear during the season. The larvae move easily and quickly and are very voracious. Lacewings are predatory insects, they mainly eat aphids, one larva can eat 450 aphids in two weeks, they also eat scale worms, honey flies, spider mites and leaf hopper larvae. One lacewing larva can feed on an area. About 30 leaves, e.g. on an apple tree, protecting it from the plague of fruit spider mite. Adult insects fly at dusk, so it is difficult to meet during the day in the garden, but at the end of summer they come to the light like moths. In most species adult lacewings overwinter hidden in houses, sheds, tree hollows and under bark of trees. In autumn the color of lacewings fades and the insects fall into a kind of lethargy. They are not very mobile and may even look dead. When spring arrives they wake up and fly outside. In the garden you can find mainly green lagoon, so how do you lure these insects into your garden? Adult insects of most species are predatory, but they also feed on nectar and pollen. Plant mellifluous plants in your garden that will attract lacewings such as, phacelia, buckwheat, yarrow, thyme, spurge as well as shrubs and trees, Rowan, buckthorn, linden, willow, aronia, blackberries, roses, or plums. Lacewings just like ladybugs can be lured with flowers with yellow petals. They also like red and brown. You can use yellow and red ribbons or pieces of fabric tying them where aphids or other pests are present. Chemical spraying should be avoided especially in the second and third decade of July when the golden eyelids are the most abundant in the garden. In order to attract lacewings, Plants are sprayed with water with the addition of sweet beetroot syrup, molasses, or sugar. It is an easily available food for them. Such food also attracts other insects such as bees, ladybirds, butterflies, but beware, such nectar will also attract ants or wasps and other insects that like sweet nectar. Once we invite lacewings to the garden, it is worth making them stay there until the next season. Because they are sensitive to frost which can kill up to 80% of these insects, it is a good idea to create insect houses. The lacewing house is made of wooden boxes with sides 30 on 30 centimeters long. The front and bottom are made of boards arranged in blinds with 3 centimeter gaps through which insects get inside. The boxes should be painted red or brown to attract and filled with straw or dry leaves. At the beginning of September, the boxes are fixed to piles driven into the ground at a height of 1.5 meter. In late autumn, they should be moved to the garage and put outside in the spring. 500 adult lacewings and even more can overwinter in one box.